Good evening, Weapons Weaver Repair. Um, so, I have another mystery eBay parcel uh, yet to be opened. Uh, I quite enjoyed the last PlayStation I did so much that I have bought yet another PlayStation to have a go at. So this one's a little bit different. Um, so I've got the description up on my screen next to me. Uh, so it's, it says, console being sold as parts and spares because the console does not read discs. Furthermore, after pressing the eject button, the disc tray does not open, um, or it opens and then closes within a few seconds. So, I would say we've got some kind of sticky button there. So this is going to need a little bit of an investigation to see what's going on. So I haven't had a go at this yet. So let's open it up and take a look. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, this will be a nice little purchase. I'll give them one thing, they've certainly packaged it well. So yeah, there's a few marks and scratches. All in all, looks nice. So, uh, just as evidence of. It was a whopping £14.99 in UK money. So, uh, as per the other one, it looks a bit gross. Oh, I can feel already there's definitely not something right with that button. And again, the back of the console has been opened because someone's taken the sticker off already. So that's a little bit annoying that someone's opened it but not the end of the world. So let's grab a screwdriver. And yeah, we're missing a foot down here as well. And these ones are not the correct feet that come with it. So someone has definitely been in here at some stage. Let's just get these out and then we'll open it up and see what's going on. Before we do that, actually, let's just get this plugged in. And uh, figure out and we'll look at the symptoms and things and see if we can see what the score is. So you just pause this while I get a lead plugged in and I'll come back to you. So that's our lead plugged in. Let's just turn this on so the console's on. Oh yeah, that's not nice. You can hear that. It's not catching quite right. So something going on with that CD drive. Let's turn it back off again. Turn the switch off at the back and unplug it. And then we'll have a, have a good goosey gander at this and see what we can see. My original intention for this PlayStation was to harvest, harvest some parts from my other PlayStation project, but it's actually in a better working state than my other one is, so this might have to be a tear down and clean up job. Plus the AV port on this one's not absolutely trashed as well, so. screw in here that doesn't want to come out so there we go so now as the other one lift it up to the front a little bit tip it over and there's our cable so let's undo this first see if we can see what's going on so again a little bit dusty but not too bad Someone definitely opened this up before there because there's writing on the inside. So let's 
So let's just see if we can see what's going on here, shall we? What we'll do is we'll just take the CD tray out and have a look inside the CD drive. So it all looks nice and clean under here, a little bit gummed up, but nothing that you wouldn't expect. Everything looks fine. I can't see any reason for it. I mean, this little plastic thing, the little plastic spacer here, let me just zoom that in for you so you can see. So occasionally you get it where. Oh, my God, let me just bring this into camera. This little plastic thing here jumps and then the discs don't read properly. And we'll just give that laser a quick clean while we're in here just to make sure that it's not gunked up. So just a little bit of isopropylene alcohol and a trusty cotton bud. Just give that laser a quick clean. But it might just be the power on the laser needs turning up because that does go occasionally as well. So um, let's just pop the CD tray back in because I am not convinced. Pop it in all the way in the closed position. Oh, that's not incorrectly. Come on, there we are. And we'll just glue those two screws back up again. So it's always when it gets to there. There's something under here, under this cog. Okay, turn that back off. I'm not getting the same experience that the seller mentioned where the drive comes out and then goes back in again. I'm going to have a look under here and see what I'm getting myself into because uh, I've got a feeling I'm just about to open up a whole world of hate. Plug this back in with that open and we can have another look. Let's just do that. So yeah, it's definitely that cog. Let's just take this band off here. That will lift out. That lifts out. What I was hoping to see was damaged teeth or something going on there, but again, we wouldn't got any of that. So 
don't know if it's just loose or let's put this back on here. Okay. Just wind that all the way back. Put this band back on. I'm not convinced I've really done anything there. Let's just screw this back down. Maybe it was just loose cogs or something. Because I can't actually see any reason that's doing it. Now I do have, just off to the side, another one of these drives, so I'm going to stick this on top here for a minute. I'll just have a look at this one, I'll do a, bit of, a little bit of a comparison and see if we can see what's what. originally intended on fixing with this one. So immediately the spindle looks a bit different. Okay, so this is totally different, this CD drive. Totally, totally different. I don't know if it's a different revision or what, but it's, I mean, the cogs look different immediately. They're a lot tighter. I'm saying that was quite tight. And uh, there's no screws on this one, so you can't actually take it out. I think it's actually just clipped in saying that. It's that moment where you decide whether or not you want to force it. There's a clip holding it in the middle there. I'll just get a pry tool sec. Because I don't want to break my other drive. Okay. Let's just go a bit further with this one. There is another screw just here. I was just being lazy and ah, oh, that's it. I can feel it going now. Okay. So this is my other drive, just for comparison. So we'll just open this back up. So, there's not a lot different really, they are in essence the same. They're just wired slightly differently, but I don't get why this one's rattling and this one isn't. Let's just take these out here a minute. Take these out here a minute. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do this. I'm going to take the band off of that one and I'm going to just swap it over and see what happens. So I'll just pop this back on. Let's see if this solves our rattle. I know this drive is good and working, so.
Yeah, so it's definitely the cogs. So let's just put my plate back in. Let's push that back. this out so then I know that everything's seated right I don't want to go forcing something it doesn't feel right to me but it's not necessarily wrong so Yes, the cogs. I'm not getting any rattle on that at all now. Okay, let's turn this back off again. I wonder then. Let's just change the band over. final test let's just take this off of here it's the elastic band and we'll just pop this one on here just trying to figure out if it's the cogs or if it's the band and what we'll do we'll fix it all back in I'll just hold it yeah there we are there's our problem so our issue is that rubber band is too loose. Nothing to do with the cogs at all. Interesting. So just for a minute I'm going to put this nice one on that works and wreck my other drive. And next we'll have a look at our CD problems. So we now know that I'm going to have to order a new band. So final test, these are my original cogs and the new band. I don't know, that's interesting, it's still running. Hmm. Let's just change the band over again and just make sure it's not me being an idiot, which is entirely possible at this stage. Yeah, I think I put the wrong band back on then. Yeah, that one feels tighter. Sorry, YouTube mistakes happen. See, when you've got pressure on here, you don't get that issue. It's just bizarre. Okay, well we successfully not figured out anything there. Put 
our two screws from there for the minute. Quickly do is put my other drive back together so don't get me parts muddled up. Put my screw back in the bottom. CD tray in a minute. Right, let's just turn this back on again. I think it's actually slightly improved. But it's not sticking like the other owner was describing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a CD and just stick it in this and see what happens and see if it will play it. I'll come back to you in just a second. Well, very interestingly, I've put one of my favourite albums in here. And despite the set of saying the laser doesn't work, I'm actually reading it fine. So it may have just been that it needed a clean. Um, but let me just um, take you off the stand and I can show you. Bear with me one second. So as you can see, I've got the PlayStation hooked up, album in the drive, and if I press X on the controller, it plays. So I can't find fault with this system. Now, the CD drive is also ejecting fine. I'm not having any issues with that. That's working absolutely perfect. And it's not sticking anymore either. So I've had it out on him multiple times and it's absolutely fine. I can't find fault, <laughs> which is really annoying. Just to try and give you evidence that I am not pulling a fast one, this is the description of the seller, uh, what they've listed on their eBay page. And as you can see, it says the console's being sold for parts and spares because the console does not read discs. Well, with a bit of a laser clean, clearly it does. Furthermore, pressing the eject button does not stay open and then it opens and closes within a few seconds. Well, we proved that that is not the case. Now, I will go and pick up an Xbox, uh, an Xbox, a PlayStation game and test it further. And if it doesn't work, I'll come back to you when I do another video. But as far as I can see, it's fine. <laughs> so, I'll just unplug this controller. Move that out of the way. And we'll turn this back off again. Oh, uh, and just as evidence of it, I do have a CD in here. Very good album, if anyone wants to support in uh, Incubus. Let's just take that one away. So yeah, I don't really know what else is wrong other than cleaning the laser. The disc tray is opening fine. It's not making that horrible noise anymore since we've replaced the band. Um, everything appears to work fully. I haven't, don't feel like I've really fixed anything in this one. Um, it all just seems to work. So I mean, just for completeness, I will reassemble it on camera um, and I'll pop the lid back on and we'll just do one final test just to make sure it is exactly as it should be. But there you are for the sake of a what is in effect an elastic band and probably 25 pence worth of um, isopropylene alcohol and a bit of a cotton bud, it, it, it lives on. So uh, I, as I say, don't really have much to say. Um, I will take this apart further and clean it. So as I say, just for completeness, I'll flick it back on one last time, move it back a bit just so you can see, I'll just eject the drive. Absolutely fine. Back in. Out. We'll just leave it open for a second or two. 
and just see if it does uh, pull itself back in, which it doesn't appear to. Maybe just the journey here um, and just the uh, just the transit has fixed it. But um, as I say, it just needs a bit of a clean, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. So yeah, if you've um, if you found this video useful, you've liked it, it's a bit of interest, um, please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon uh, to get our future video notifications, uh, leave us some comments and we'll do our, our best to answer any questions we can. Anyway, thanks for watching.